You're good, you're good. It's all good. Dang, man, my bro is crazy. He's going to take it in the rain just to see how it feels. Woo! And he's gone, man. That thing sounds so good. But let me get back in this garage. I don't want to get wet out here. I can't wait for some more dry weather. I don't know what's going on. We've been getting so much rain. Hopefully it'll snow this year. What's up, buddy? Bruno, come in here and say what's up to the YouTube. Bruno, come here. Can you sit? Sit for him. Side. That's a good boy. Give me your paw. This guy right here loves chasing the quads and anything like that. He loves biting them tires. But he's back right there. I guess he didn't make it too long in the rain. But yeah, that thing sounds so much more healthier and it performs so much better. I mean, I haven't gave it a rip or anything like that, but I could just hear it. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Dang, dude. Man, she is ripping, boys. Let me give it a try. Do it. Even though I ain't got a water jacket on or anything like that. Hop on that beast. Man, it's only 5 o'clock and it's already dark out here. Hey, give me my money. It fell right there. It's only a dollar or two. Well, yeah, now that it's getting cold around here and daylight savings, man, it gets dark so quick. I know, well, right? Only 6 o'clock, man, and it's already like pitch black. But we're still trying to have some fun. How does it feel, dude? I see you do a trip. Man, it's a different machine with those plugs in. I'm telling you that. Man, this thing ripped, dude, I'm telling you. I can't believe you could drift with these tires on it, man. Like, I was sitting there, like, skidding on the road. That is because it's wet, obviously, but I'm sure you can still do drifts. Oh, man, it's got plenty of torque and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get these footrests back on so that we're nice and safe. And then we'll give it another rip. Alrighty, guys, so we went ahead and drained the fluid five or six times. We got some diesel in there. Everything's flushed out. I don't see any more water in the engine oil but for now we're gonna go ahead and pull this clutch basket off just to see what it looks like because i do think the clutch is slipping or the belt is slipping it's moving around but it just seems like you're having to throttle way too much for it to have any kind of movement nope i think i gotta take this foot rest off really you can't yeah. get to those right there the bolts are all at the bottom down there and they're pretty hard to get to let's get it off a couple bolts here and some, some screws on the side. Let's get it done. What are those star bits? Yep, T30. Is that a T30 or what? Uh, this is a... Let's see. T25. Let's get to work, man. Those people can wait. They're T20s. Those are what they look like. Man, that's pretty crazy how the footrest is just held on by these plastics right over here. Imagine how much force it has, you know? Oh, uh, it's not. There's a whole metal structure down at the bottom, which will oh. go on, so. I didn't even see that right there, boss man. But let's go ahead and get this thing off. How many oil changes did we do? 
Probably around five, I think, man. And that oil is looking pretty clean, but I said we got about five more to do. And then we'll probably jump onto our front and rear diff and also replace that fluid and see if there's any water that got into there. There you go. They're making this complicated. There you go. Man, that opened up a bunch of space. I know. I already see water coming out. Look at that. Oh man, that is not looking good. Check that out. At least it's, at least it's clean water, you know what I mean? And not filled with dirt. Holy crap, mate. Daggum. That's why it's not really wanting to dry. We should have did that from the giggle. Look, there's a little plug right over here. Damn, Canem did it right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little plug right over there that we could have drained out. But we're going to go ahead and pull this whole cover off just to inspect all of our clutches and belt to make sure everything's okay under there. But check out how much water came out. This thing was flooded to the brim. Is there another bolt? Yes, sir. One's hiding from me. There you go. Ooh. We do got some rust. The belt seems to be fine. It's nice and tight, but check out all that rust we got. Dang, that is a system right there. But for now, we're going to go ahead and drain all this out, clean it all up, and then we'll keep you updated on that. There we go. There's no fluid coming out. That's the fill bolt. Right, right. Let's go ahead and get this drain bowl out and see what comes out. We're going to go ahead and give it like two or three flushes. And then fill her up with some 75, 140. You know what it takes, some fresh fluid. We'll be set. Yeah, and as soon as we get some brand new fresh plugs, we'll be ripping. Oh, there it goes. Check that out. Straight right. up milk. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the front diff, get all this chocolate milk out of it, and pour in some fresh fluid. Man, let's do it, I'm ready to ride. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, that's fun right there. Gotta get a little better at it. Make sure you get your foot on the brake. That way if you need to kick it back, you got it, but go a little bit higher. Hey, he better watch my Ultima right there and the Mustang. Are you in sport mode? Yes, sir. That's the only way it'll do a wheelie. Let's go ahead and put it in eco mode and see if I can do a wheelie. That's one thing I do love about the quad is you got different modes. And when you put it in eco mode, like the exhaust completely shuts off. Like it's so much quieter. It just restricts all the power. Look at that.
All right, guys, so we got the Can-Am all cleaned up. Check it out, man. This thing is looking brand new, and Bubba's working on the spark plugs right now. We already got the one replaced on cylinder one, and check out how bad it is. It was completely fouled out, and I think this one right here has some cracks in the ceramic, and these were a little tricky to get. They went on back order the first time, and everyone had to order even the Can-Am shop, but this thing is in immaculate condition. There we go. Check this thing out. Hold on, it's not focused. Dang, one crack, two cracks. Yeah, that's definitely why I was running so bad. But check out how clean this thing is. It, yep, 2020, what can I say? I know, right? Man, I'm ready to hear this thing run now. All right, so moment of truth right here. Go ahead and fire it up. does it feel? Oh yeah, it feels way more responsive now. Oh. Are you going to give it a rip? It's kind of raining outside. I still might take it out in the rain. Put it in gear and see what it does. Sounds a whole lot better. It's not misfiring. You gotta be careful with them knobbies. It sounds a little bit quieter now, don't it? Dang. Just put it in neutral and see how it revs. Give it a few reps. exhaust real quick. This thing sounds straight up like a race quad or something. Hey, I'm ready to take it for a rip. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. Today we are working on our 2020 Can-Am XMR 850 and now that we got all the fluids flushed out multiple times, we replaced the gearbox transmission and bolt diffs. Everything is nice and clean. We also replaced our spark plugs and the bike is performing nice and strong. So now that we got the quad all cleaned up, let's go ahead and throw our final plastic pieces back on and get this bike looking 100% OEM. Here we go, our first panel. And some of you guys were saying that we took this thing off the wrong way. So I'm gonna try to do it correctly this time. And I think you start right here from the back and get it into position and then you gotta work your way up to the front. There we go. Now I'm just having a little trouble right over here in the front. Since we didn't remove our snorkel, it is going to be a little tricky to get this panel back in. But we'll be able to get it going. We got one screw right over here that's hiding, and then a few other clips that go around here to secure this panel on, and then we'll be ready to jump on that other side. So let's get this put in. Bro. Oh yeah, dude, this thing is looking meaner and meaner. You know, everything is covered up on this quad, you know, like you don't see any of the motor or anything like that, just the casing, and that's what's nice about it. Next time it'd be so much easier if we just went ahead and took this snorkel off 
or having to like pull on it to try to get those screws and extra clips in. Yeah, my mistake for sure. Yep. Yes, sir. Last piece of the puzzle. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got the seat on. Now let's go ahead and catch you guys in the morning and take this thing out for a rip.